Hello, crazies! And now I'm back with another book review because this book that I just finished yesterday, I started on Saturday. I started on a Saturday and finished on a Sunday. And it is Invincible by Sharon Kinnan. She's the author of the Chronicles of Nick series. This is the second book, book two. She's also the author of the Dark Hunters novels and the Dream Hunters novels and some other, another series that I can't remember. Um, Lord of Avalon, I think that's the series. Um, she's a very well-known author, um, mostly with adult literature. This is uh, her first uh, YA novel. Her other series, this is basically a YA novel. It takes, it's part of the Dark Hunters novels. So it's basically following Nick Gosset, which I guess is a character in the Dark Hunters. But at, at the time in Dark Hunters, he's an adult. While in here, he's a teenager. So it, it's very interesting how to do it. Because a lot of these characters are in her adult series. So this is going back into time. This is going back to where the one character is a teenager. Why the adult series is where he's an adult. So it's interesting to us. And she, she built this wonderful world of safe sifters and demons and gods and, and hunters. And it's... Um, Magnificent award, and we cannot get enough of it. Like I said, I finished this book in two days. That's how much I loved it. And it's an easy read. I mean, the text is pretty, pretty big. Uh, the chapters are very easy flowing. And once once you get into it, we would not want to put the series down. This is the second book, uh, Invincible. The, other t the first one is Infinity. The third is Infamous, and the fourth is Inferno. Um, I don't want to tell too much about this, because I don't want to spoil it, but I will read the back. So, if you don't like it, I'll read a positive video. Uh, Nick Gosset's day just keeps getting better and better. Yeah, he survived the zombie attacks, only to wake up and find himself enslaved to the ward of shapeshifters and demons out to claim his soul. His new principal thinks he's even more of a hoodlum than the last one. His coach is trying to recruit him to do things he can't even mention. And the girl he's not seeing, but is, has secrets that terrifies him. But more than that, he's being groomed by the darkest of powers, and if he doesn't learn how to raise the dead by the end of the week, he'll become one of them. That right there, fire hook to you. But, uh, each word is kind of play on what's going to happen in the book. Like, Infinity uh, is basically zombies. There's like hundreds and hundreds of zombies. Invincible, it deals with invincibility. Uh, and the, the infamous, I saw infamous, the word infamous is going to play a role in the, the book. The same with Inferno. Inferno is probably going to play, he's going to have to conjure fire or something. But, I do like that each each word, the title of the book, is very important to the story. Um, I do love that he he Nick was saying just he's he's a normal kid and then he wakes up and go, Whoa, I stepped into a Twilight Zone and there's a lot of funny lines in this and he's very sarcastic. The main character is just oozing sarcasm, so I really loved it, and it's sarcastic, it's funny, it's action, it's love, it's magic, it's demons, it's everything I love in a paranormal fantasy novel, plus more. So, I highly recommend the Chronicles of Nick series. I want to start reading the Dark Hunter series, try to find like the first book in the series and start reading that, because I guarantee you, if I love her YA novel, I probably love her adult novels. So I highly recommend uh, Sarah Kinnan and her Chronicles of Nick series and her Dark Hunters novels. Uh, I give this fi a five star book. 
And that is it for this review. Live and let live and keep on reading. Bye.